What is the universe trying to tell me? Day one, I've been motivated to go to the gym, not for anything else other than to try and improve my energy levels and my mental health. This is my sports bra. And it's well and truly fucking stuck. I can't get it down, look. <laughs> There's nobody here to help, look. Oh, oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Right, we're ready. Oh. Note to self, buy a bra that fits. I'm in. I'm ready to go. I like this. Oh, that's my screensaver. Nourishment. That's going to be my word of September. Oh, what's that say? The Kapowna Breakout has a new photo from Laura Powner. Of course it does. It was Laura Powner that pulled this card for me. It's an oracle card. And that's what she pulled for me. It's beautiful. And I love that. Pops up multiple times a day and I'm like, yeah, I'm on the right path. I mean, look at it. Put lots of healthy food in her hands. It's just a beautiful visual reminder. I'm talking of visual reminders, Sean didn't clean up. I was at work yesterday, I don't know if you can see this, but I've been trying to clean the kitchen every night before bed and Sean doesn't do it. Leaves it for me. Cheers, mate. Dickhead. But look, ordinarily I'd have sat here and I would have ate, eaten those. I've done it many a time. You know when food's been left out and it's stale and I've sat and eaten it, but that just needs to go in the bin. I mean, this isn't self-love, is it? Trying not to put like labels being good or bad. Look at the state. Took the dogs to the vets. Look at that. Ugh, it needs a valet. But that's not good for self love. And cookies. Hmm. So the thing to ask myself here is do I want the cookies? And old me, me, would have been like, I'm tired, I'm stressed, I haven't eaten. I need these, but I'm trying to be really, really mindful of what I'm eating. And even though these, these aren't bad at all, because we're not labeling foods good and bad. I know if I eat these, I'm gonna get a sugar high and then I'm gonna feel like crap. So there's only one place these can go. In with the dog shit. I'm not gonna be getting them out of the bin. <sighs> Actually feels quite liberating. Right, onto the gym. Haven't been here for a long time, haven't been here for a long time. I wonder if my fob will even work. I hope I don't drop my fob. I'm just trying to do like an arty show. finished just a couple of minutes shy of an hour I'm walking out feeling good but I'm also walking out feeling quite pissed off at myself if I'm honest because a lot of people go to the gym as punishment oh I've had a binge therefore I'm going to go and do a load of exercise but that, it's, that's never been the thing for me at all I go to the gym because I enjoy it <laughs> and I love weight training I absolutely love weight training and I do it really well my technique's good I've been coached by some brilliant people <sighs> so why don't I do it more often you never feel crap after a workout you always feel good and for me for my mental health it's so important so I will be back I'd like, I'd like to come three times a week. I know that's the cliche and I know it's going to help improve my energy levels. It's probably going to help me sleep better tonight. So yeah, I will be back. Definitely. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hello, you lazy monkey. Hello, you lazy monkey. 
Yeah, they do monkey. Oh, morning, yes. Right, do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Morning. <sighs> Monday, the 2nd of September. This is our roll. This is our bring them out for a wee. Hopefully I don't have to speak to another human because I don't have any contact lenses in. If you've ever seen any of my Instagram stories, I do this quite regularly. A couple of occasions, it's been a bit embarrassing, but I don't care. So here we are, in my dressing gown. Just walking down the lane, taking in the sights. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Wait, itch. Running off. Right, I'm gonna go before they poo on the neighbor's garden. Hi kids! Hello. Where are we going? Chester Zoo! Woo! Rachel, how can we be more loving to ourselves? It's um, a good question. Spend more time on yourself. Yes, that is the key. And you started doing that, didn't you? What? When did you start that? Face masks. Face masks? Rachel is a Tropic ambassador. If you would like some Tropic skincare, plug, 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 <laughs> shameless plug. This week's vlog episode is sponsored by Tropic Skincare <laughs> because she gives me free body bars. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's important to love yourself? No. Why not? Because it smells like Trumps. Oh dear poo. me! What loving yourself smells like Trumps and poo? Yeah. Oh dear me. <laughs> Look, that's appropriate. Do you know why? It's coming up to Shark Week. Hello! Jeans. <laughs> Freeze oh, cold, like stock. <laughs> well, you know, you know what, you know what I mean, though, don't you? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. If you know, you know. It's coming up to that, so yeah. Could eat my own head right now. Drink more water, think positive thoughts, and not binge. See him. That, that's how I feel. Day two of every diet. So we've been walking for a few hours now. Yeah. Important question to ask you Do you get chub rub? Go <laughs> back at the start. No. Have you got a thigh gap? No, but I don't get. Oh, I, sometimes mine is so bad, right? That I'm hungry! I, I have two options. I have to pull my pants up so high that I've got a really bad camel toe. Or sometimes I do put big massive plasters in between my legs you know, to cover up the chafed bright red skin. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to weight gain. <laughs> through but it's time to go to the gym we've been kelly brought our own kettlebell she's a professional <laughs> does anybody else look like a demented tomato when they go to the gym it was only a half an hour class i feel like i'm gonna pass out and have a heart attack it's boring back to school 5th of september that that one's not mine but that one is that one is with the floppy hair I've loved having six weeks with you. It's been very difficult trying to balance work and childcare. But now it's back to school time! Yes, no more kids. <laughs> everywhere needs a good hoover, everywhere needs a mop, everywhere needs a good clean. I'm gonna try and take those to the tip. That's just boxes that have accrued. You know, we've got like miles of washing going on. So in there is wet washing. Oh, I'd never make a weather girl. Look. And in there, <laughs> in there is semi wet washing. And that's the stuff that needs putting away. Again, something that Sean doesn't do. I'm slagging him off, but 
I'm hormonal. If you listened to my show on BBC Radio Lancashire last week, you'll know that I have recently read a book called Do Less by Kate Northrup, which is about doing less to achieve more, learning when your natural energy cycles are hormonally and apparently in sync with the moon. Well, ladies, it's day one hormonally today, so I just want to retreat into a shell and go to sleep. But I can't, because this needs sorting. I'm not in the mood to work. I'm very, very lucky that I work from home and I work on my own terms. So I'm gonna to work tonight. I'm gonna to work later this afternoon and late into the night because I can. And I'm gonna to choose to use this time now to stick some music on, stick this timer on for an hour and see what I can get done, even though I really, really don't want to. Let's see what I can do. I've managed to break it and I can't fix it, but I wonder if. No, I stopped taking. For fuck's sake. I have got another one though. Hang fire. This one was only £1.50 from Home Bargains. Let's see how this one goes. I'll see if Sean can fix this one. better this time 55 minutes ago I was just so unmotivated felt like crap I could have quite easily gone have, have gone and got in bed or just fannied around on social media and wasted an hour but the place looks amazing smells amazing happy 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 oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna have to go sideways <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Exercises! Yeah, not yet! I'm in agony. I can't even wait. Just realised this is a bit of a win. Can't ever go in a petrol station and not buy sweets. Licorice all sorts are my sweet of choice. Tangfastics are the other ones. But I've just bought a punnet of strawberries. And as I'm going along and eating them, I'm thinking. These actually taste better than tank plastics and they're probably a lot better for me. Again, try not to label foods good or bad, but there's a lot of vitamins and minerals and stuff in these things that are probably better for me than the shit that's in Haribo. So I think that's a win. And when you're ready in your own time, it's gently opening the eyes again. Mm. Mm. I don't do that more often because it helps. Let me show you them. So it's a headspace live. That's quite cool, isn't it? So to round up and finish up this week, things I've learnt. Number one, only me controls what I put in my body. Number two, only me controls how I move my body. And number three, only me controls the thoughts in my head. These are all things that I already knew, but I'm having to make sure that I reiterate these to myself every single day. In addition to what you've seen this week, I have been getting dog hair on my nose, but I've been uh, journaling, I've been juicing, I've been for a massage, which was amazing. I've been walking. And I've just been trying every single day to remind myself I am enough. And so are you. You are enough. I am enough. We are enough. See you next week.